To the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, less than half of returning veterans in need receive any mental health treatment. But there is a program in Texas designed to help with that. The Veterans Commission Military Veteran Peer Network provides peer-to-peer -peer support for mental and overall well-being. We have some wonderful guests here in the studio with us to talk about it. You heard me introducing there Janie Whitefield, who is an Army veteran and who is a peer network manager, joined by her service dog, Venice, who is so well behaved, just been hanging out with us, and Cynthia Gray, who's an Air Force veteran, a licensed professional counselor, associate, and a manager at the Texas Veterans Commission. So thank you all so much for being here today to talk about this really important program that you have. I want to start here because you both have personal experience from your time in your in the service but also in speaking with veterans uh, in your work so what is it that you hear most or what is it that you have felt from your own personal experience that makes this peer program so important so it's the transition out of the military um, a lot of veterans and service members feel lost in mm. that transition and that's where peer support is so important and it comes into play because they have somebody that has been through that similar experience and they can walk them through mm. um, the past so they're not left alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And anything you'd like to add? Just that same thing, just that there's that instant camaraderie and yeah. understanding that words are not needed and then you can come mm -hmm. alongside and really share life together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have that shared experience in so many ways. So how does the program work for someone who is maybe unfamiliar with it, if you want to start? So we have 66 peer service coordinators that are also veterans strategically placed throughout the state of Texas. Hmm. And they, those peer service coordinators also have 6,000 volunteers. And those volunteers are also service members or family members uh, a family of service members. Mm. So they all have a shared experience and what they do is they get connected with the individual and get them any resources they need. So they can get them anywhere from utility assistance to say they just miss that camaraderie from the service, that brother sisterhood, yeah. and they're isolated at home. So maybe they just need somebody to talk to or share the holidays with. So they can bring them in and do like peer groups with them um, get them connected with local resources such as mental health or um, any medical appointments or anything they need. Talk about some of the training that goes into folks who are getting involved with this program. You know, the person on the other end really knows what they're doing, it sounds like. Yeah, Absolutely. So the Texas Veterans Commission Veterans Mental Health Department certifies these peer service coordinators Janie mentioned. So they really have that extra level of knowledge on how to engage with the veteran or family member in with the peer groups and also even suicide awareness and prevention training how to notice if someone's struggling and how to come alongside and help them get the resources and peer support they need and we talked about the volunteers and the people who are also helping these veterans who are in need but how many people does the program serve itself it just depends. Um, obviously, the needs go up, right? So last year alone, my peer service coordinators um, did 191,000 direct peer services wow. to individuals across the state of Texas. And we're hoping to double that number um, this next year. An so, incredible goal. Yes. That's really incredible. I mean, just to know the reach that this program has here in the state. We do want to ask, you mentioned how many people were served last year. What are some other successes you have seen as this program has developed? So the holidays are hard for some individuals. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're isolated and alone at their house. Um, for example, I can use the success story of one, uh, two of my peer service coordinators. They're in Denton and um, they just along with their volunteers and their community um, provided 166 baskets for Thanksgiving for um, veterans in their community this last weekend. So, so amazing. Yeah, just one example of many different things that yes. you all do. Real quickly here, we wish we had more time with you, but where can people go if they want to learn more about this program and how to get involved? You can go to www.tvc.texas.gov and click on the mental health link. And on that link, there'll be a map of the state of Texas and that individual can just click on their county and it will bring up their peer service coordinator for their area. 
wonderful Cynthia and Janie and Venice. Thank you all so much for being here to talk through this program. It's such important work that you do, especially this time of year. So thank you and thank you for your service. We'll be right back after the break.